Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to install a Wise Video Doorbell or how to set up a Wise Video Doorbell. So the Wise Video Doorbell allows you to view live stream footage and recorded footage right from your phone on the Wise app. Now, a couple important things to note about the Wise Video Doorbell before you go installing it. It does require a hardwired power source. So you've got to have an existing doorbell in working order. We've got that right here. And it also does not use the existing chime. So what happens is Wise comes with this additional plug-in speaker chime that you can put anywhere in your house. And when you connect the Wise video doorbell, that existing chime or the hardwired chime you have in your house is gonna be disabled and this plug-in chime is going to work. So the first thing that we need to do to install the new doorbell is cut off the power to our existing doorbell. So in order to do that, you need to cut off the power to the transformer, go down to your circuit breaker and cut that power off at the appropriate circuit. And you'll know you'll have that power off when the doorbell will no longer ring. So we're gonna cut the power off right now. We cut off the power and we can test the doorbell and you see it's no longer lit up and it no longer makes a sound when we press it. So now we're ready to remove it by removing the two screws that are holding it on to your house. We've got the two screws holding the doorbell in place removed. So now we can pull our doorbell away from the wall. And what we need to do is remove the two wires on the back of the existing doorbell. We can loosen up that second screw and remove the existing wire. Now that we've got the existing doorbell removed, we're ready to install the Wise mounting plate and bracket. So it comes in two pieces, and if you just want to mount your doorbell facing straight forwards, you got a nice flat surface, you use this little piece right here, you're gonna screw it in, and then the Wise will just clip into it there's a couple of ledges right there and it'll slide right onto those ledges. So if you want it forward facing straight ahead, very easy installation. Now you can also angle it. So it comes with a bracket here that allows you to angle the wise doorbell viewing angle left or right. If you want it to go one direction, you just flip it around and you can have it go the other direction. So we're going to install it with this because that's the more complicated install. But if you just want to use this plate, you can put that right on, put two screws in there, and you're good to go, and the Ys will slide right onto there. So in order to install the mounting plate, choose whichever direction you want this to face. So for us, we're gonna have it face this direction, uh, and then we're going to put two screws in to the mounting plate. We've got a screw hole up here, and then one down at the bottom. So you're gonna use the longer screws that are provided in the bag for this. So I'm gonna use those, and we're just going to secure it and I'll just use the existing hole that we've already got there to make it a little bit simpler. We've got our top screw installed and we're just going to take the bottom screw and install it into the slot there. And you can see there's two slots here that allow you to make some slight adjustments to the doorbell while you've got it installed. Now that we've got the angled plate installed, we're ready to install the backer plate. So we're just gonna put the two wires through there and we're gonna get this aligned. It'll fit right in there pretty snugly. And you wanna make sure that you have these little ledges on this uh, facing upwards so that the Ys can slide right onto those. And then you're gonna take these smaller screws and you're just going to use those to attach this to the angled bracket. Now that we've got our base plate installed, we're ready to install the doorbell itself. So you can see it slides on here very easily. We're just going to attach the wires for right now because there's a QR code here that you may need for the installation and setup. So I've got it covered there. But what we're gonna do is just screw the two wires onto the terminals and then leave it hanging. And then we've got some work to do inside our house at the doorbell chime. We loosened up those terminals a little bit and it doesn't matter which wire uh, you've got on which terminal, either one is gonna be fine on either terminal. You just wanna make sure that you've got a good connection with it and uh, that's what's important here. Also, be careful not to loosen these too much because they can fall out and uh, you could potentially lose one of the screws.
We've got the screws tightened down for both terminals and the wires installed, so now we're ready to go inside to our doorbell chime. Now we're inside at our doorbell chime, and the first thing we need to do is remove the cover. Sometimes you can pull them straight off, sometimes you might need to wiggle them a little bit or tilt up or down. So once we've got the cover removed, you've got a couple different terminals here. We've got one wire on trans and the other one on front. Sometimes you might have this wire on rear or front. It doesn't really matter which one this wire is on. And the color doesn't really matter that much uh, in this situation for connecting the WISE video doorbell. What you need to do is remove these two wires from the existing doorbell chime. And it's important to note once again that the doorbell chime will be disabled. It will no longer work once you do that. However, WISE has this handy plug-in chime that you can put anywhere in your house so you can hear it wherever you want and you're also gonna get notifications on your phone. So what we're gonna do once we remove those is then install this wire right here that connects the two of these together. And what that does is allow a continuous circuit so that your WISE video doorbell will be powered up all the time. So we're gonna remove these two. We're gonna install this wire in between them, connecting the two of them. And uh, that's provided in the WISE box and then use these two little wire nuts to secure them together. So let's remove those now. We've removed our two wires from the doorbell chime and we're ready to wire in uh, the new wire that will connect them. Put them both into the wire nut and then twist them together. Now we're gonna take the other wire and wire nut and we're gonna Put them in there and then twist them together. Now we're just going to fold the wires kind of back in here and put our doorbell chime cover back on. We've got the doorbell chime reinstalled and now we're ready to go back outside to our WISE video doorbell. Now we're back at the doorbell and we're ready to get this set up on the app. So if you haven't done so already, download the WISE app, set up a username and password and log in. This is the same WISE app that other WISE devices work on. Once you're there, just go to the home screen, which we're at right now, and you're gonna click in the upper left-hand corner on the plus symbol to add a device. And we're gonna click add a device here. Now we've got some options here. It says cameras, sensors, power and lighting, home, lifestyle. Let's click on cameras and see if it pops up here. It does. We're gonna install the WISE doorbell right there. So we click on that and then we're going to click next. It tells us what we need. We've already done those things. So I'm going to click next. We're going to click through this because we've already done all these installation steps. Next. Next, open the chime box, we've already done that. We've got two wires, so we're gonna click next, and then we're gonna click next again, and we're going to click next, and next again here, and click next again. It says, where is your doorbell located? We're just going to click through this and uh, call it parallel for now. And we've got two options here, wall plate or wedge. We put in the wedge, we're going to click next. And then it says you can add a vertical wedge. We don't want that, so we're just going to click next here. And we've already installed the wedge. We're gonna click next. And we're gonna click next again. We're gonna click next. And we're gonna click next again. And now we're ready to turn the power on to the doorbell. So once we've clicked through all those setup instructions, what we need to do is go turn the power back on at our circuit breaker to restore power to the WISE doorbell. So we restored the power to the WISE doorbell and now you can see it's blinking with that flashing light and it's also telling us it's ready to connect. So on the app, all we're gonna do here is click next. It says, please, it says please confirm that your doorbell is now flashing yellow. It is, we're going to click next. It says your doorbell should say ready to connect. If it does not, press the reset button it said ready to connect, so we're going to click the button down there at the bottom. Ready to connect. Select your Wi-Fi network and enter your password. 
We entered our Wi-Fi network and password and click next. Now we're going to take the QR code on our phone and scan it with the video doorbell. So you're just gonna take this QR code and put it in front of the image sensor on the WISE doorbell. Now you wanna make sure that you remove the plastic cover that's on the lens for the WISE doorbell before you do this to make scanning it a little bit easier. So we're gonna remove that cover right now. QR code scan, please wait. I held the QR code about three inches away centered from the image sensor to get it installed and connected with the WISE doorbell. Now you want to click I heard QR code scanned and next. Connecting. Now we need to give our doorbell a name. We called it Wise Front Bell and we're going to click next. Here it gives us a two week free trial. We're going to click continue. And you can share the device with family and friends. We're going to click maybe later. It says, please confirm that your doorbell has a solid blue light normal status or is flashing blue and purple. That motion is detected. So we've got a solid blue light there. And every once in a while, when I make some motion in front of it, it's going to flash purple. That motion is detected. And we're going to click next. It says, attach your doorbell to the wall plate. We are ready to slide this now on to our mount. So all you're going to do is uh, you can see these little hooks here and there's hooks on the back. Basically, you're gonna line those up and then slide the doorbell down. We slid the doorbell onto the wall plate and we're going to click next. It says you have successfully installed your WISE doorbell. That's great. And you're gonna scroll down because we do wanna add a WISE chime, but now the doorbell is working. So I'm gonna click down here, add a wise chime, and it says pair with wise chime, click next. It says plug in and reset. So now we're gonna go over to an outlet and we're gonna plug in the wise chime. We plugged in the wise chime, should be powering up. And there it goes. We're going to click finish. It says failed to connect to your internet connection. We're just going to press that again. And typically it does need to upgrade the software. So we're going to upgrade the software and we're gonna go back over to the doorbell. We click upgrade now and this will take a minute or two to upgrade. This was the next screen that popped up. So we're gonna click update again. It says updating. It says feel free to leave this page. Your doorbell will reboot when the update finishes. I'm just going to X out of this. So we can see here, it just took a picture of what was happening before I click the update button. And then we're just gonna wait for it to finish the update. Sometimes it's best to close out of this. And usually you'll know an update's done when the light changes from different status colors. So we got an orange light right there and uh, it should be another minute or two and the doorbell will reset itself and the update should be complete. So I'm just gonna click out of this. And it says, congratulations, you've earned a badge, WISE doorbell, let's X out of that again. And then let's see our WISE front bell. It says it's off uh, offline right now. So give it a minute here while the update completes and then let's see what happens. Overall, it took about two to four minutes for that doorbell update to complete. And our doorbell was showing offline during the update. And once the update was getting close to being done, what happened is a light changed from orange to a flashing orange. And then finally it went to the blue status light, which means everything is good to go. So now we've got the blue status light. So let's click up here on our WISE doorbell here. It should connect. And then we'll be able to see what is going on. You can see me here on camera, live view right now of what's going on with the WISE doorbell. And if I click there, you can hear the doorbell probably in the background as well as 
um, you're going to get a notification on your phone here, but I've already got the app open, so it's not going to give me that notification. Um, let's go ahead and we can look back here. We can see the motion detection. Uh, you can see different events here and what's going on. I'm going to click out of that and then you can click back on the wise and uh, we're going to get the live view here. You can turn on or off the microphone and the speaker from down here. If you click over here, that's going to allow you to zoom in even further. So you can tap in and zoom and see what's going on wherever you want on the doorbell if there's something specific that you want to be able to see. Uh, over here, you've got some more options. You've got quick responses. You've got an album. You can just take a picture that's going to save it. Or you can click record here and it's going to just uh, record that live view. I'm going to discard that for now. And then down here, you've got uh, your night view mode so you can have it on auto. Uh, we're going to turn that on to uh, auto for night vision so that uh, we're getting the most out of this device while we use it. Now I'm going to click uh, on quick responses here and you can choose different voice responses. Um, let's say, can I help you with something? Hey, I'll be at the door shortly. Hello, please leave the package by the door. Which is really convenient if maybe you're in a meeting or something and uh, you can't respond or you're in a place where you can't get on your cell phone and talk through it. But this does have two-way communication. So you can use the doorbell to communicate back and forth with someone there. So if I'm talking on my phone, that person will hear it through the doorbell and vice versa. You can hear what the person is saying through the doorbell as well. Now, if you go up here, you've got all kinds of other settings for the WISE doorbell here. You've got detection settings. Uh, so you can select high or low motion sensitivity. You've got a detection zone. So what you're gonna do is select where you wanna have uh, it will take a picture and then you can decide what parts of your front door you want to have uh, detection live. So if you're on like a busy street, it's not going to detect every time that a car goes by. We're going to just clear that and we're going to cancel and go back. And uh, you can adjust the motion sensitivity high to low. We're going to click and go back once again. Here you've got event recording. Um, it's going to record when motion is detected. Then you've got uh, some smart detection here. You can detect a person, a vehicle, package detection, or pet detection. Um, but this does require the full subscription service or the plus cam subscription. So we're not gonna do that right now, but you certainly could set that up if you wanted to. We're gonna go back again. And uh, if you're using up too much data or something, um, now this is Wi-Fi connected, but still if you were using too much data on your uh, Wi-Fi internet, for some reason you had slow Wi-Fi, um, you can schedule this so it's only going to record during certain times of the day, but I'm going to leave it on all day. That's probably the default for most people. And then you've got notifications here, how you want to be notified. Here you can turn notifications on or off with that top button, and then you can be notified when WISE detects AI events like a person or a dog, or just when it detects any other motion. So. You wanna leave both those on to get the most functionality of it. So we're gonna go back again. And then you've got uh, accessories here and you've got your white LED light. That's that little LED right here. It just lights up, it makes it more visual. Uh, show the WISE logo, timestamp and watermark. These are all for the video footage. Uh, I do recommend leaving it on night vision mode, which we've got it on right now, right up here at the top on auto. And then I do recommend the white LED light being on because that's gonna get better face recognition, give a little bit more illumination, but also it just lets people know that they're being recorded at night. So maybe if they had some kind of malicious intent, uh, they're gonna see that light and go somewhere else rather than uh, not knowing that they're being recorded. So we're gonna go back here and go back to some of the other settings. You've got accessories. Um, down here so you can add the wise chime or remove the wise chime and click on that you've got different things that you can choose for this so you can name it something different but also you can choose how you want that chime to sound so you've got wind chime cheerful doorbell uh, dog bark a bird chirp if you got a dog I don't know if I would do dog bark that would probably make your dog even more nuts than uh when they hear a doorbell. I know my dog does not like hearing the doorbell. So uh, you can change these tunes around and maybe that is a good option that uh, you change it to something different like um, a wind chime. If you've got an animal that uh, doesn't like 
uh, the sound of a normal doorbell. Then you've got a schedule for that. So you could uh, have this scheduled so it's only going to be on certain times of the day where it's going to notify you via chime. And that's nice if uh, you're trying to take a nap or something, you could turn that off or you could just uh, turn a volume down on this too all the way if you wanted so that uh, you can take a nap and not be interrupted or someone else in your household can take a nap uh, if you've got kids or something and you don't want that chime to go off. But what's nice about the Wise Chime is that you can move it anywhere and plug it in wherever you want so that you won't necessarily disturb other people in your household, which is a nice feature of being able to move that Wise Chime around. Now let's click back again and down here you've got rules sharing and device info there's nothing uh really in the device info that's gonna have like your serial number and stuff but you can click on here rules you can create different automations with other wise devices uh within the wise app so we're not going to do any of that we're just going to click back there and then sharing if you want to share this uh with another member of your family that has a separate account you can do so and then they can make their own adjustments and configurations in the app. So I'm just gonna click back again here and then we're back to the home screen here. You can see the live view of what is happening right now. So thank you for watching this video on how to install your Wise doorbell or how to set up your Wise video doorbell. If you enjoyed this video or if it was helpful, please subscribe, give us that thumbs up or click in any of the links below. And we've got a whole bunch of links in the description if you've got any questions about doorbells or doorbell transformers or how to install them. So take a look at that description if you've got questions and we'll try to answer any of your comments. Thank you and we'll see you next time.